Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, I want to show how you can very quickly and easily, without any coding at all, create a CRUD application on the NetBeans platform. Let's start by looking at the CRUD application's data, which will come from this test database. Connect to it. Database starts up. Start it up. Here is the data and I'll view it. And here you can see all the content. So here are all the records in the database. Let's start. I'll create a Java application as a starting point. Um, demo CRUD app. Click Finish. Application is created. I'll add a new JFrame to it, CRUD Displayer, click Finish. OK, so what we have is if you go to Other, you will see Swing GUI Forms Master Detail Sample Form. And here is the new Master Detail Form. Click Next, and now you can make a connection to a particular database. And here is the table in the database I'm interested in. Um, I can display as table or as uh, text fields. I'll choose text fields. And the form is created. In fact, um, the CRUD displayer dialog that I started this screencast with isn't even needed. Let me just delete it. And this is also not needed. That was automatically created by the Java project template. Now what we have when we look inside of our code is, well, first in the design view, here you can see um, complete um, table table at the top and text fields at the bottom. To see this best of all is just to run the application. There we have the main class. Starts up. And what we have is here our data. Um, we can change the data. You can see here save, refresh, delete, new. Now let's move this to the NetBeans platform. So I'll create a new NetBeans platform application. Here it is. Demo CRUD NetBeans app. So not just an app anymore, but now it's a NetBeans platform or NetBeans RCP application. It's being created. So there it is. I add a new module, call it demo CRUD displayer. Click next or demo CRUD displayer. Click finish. There it is. So let's add a top component in here as we would always do to display a new window in the application. In the editor position, click Next, uh, CRUD Displayer, click Finish. There it is. And now the fun begins. I go to Demo CRUD App and go to Properties. And first of all, under Packaging, OK, you can see here Copy dependent libraries. This is important because when I build this, what happens is that in the disk folder we have our jar for the application, but we also have here all the jars um, needed by the application. So the persistence jars and the Derby client for the connection to the JavaDB database. Now, where is this found? OK, there. So we're going to add. So I've got your properties, libraries, wrap jars, add jar. Um, OK, so we've actually found the place, I believe. Uh, demo CRUD app. Here it is. Here is dist. Here is the jar. And add the jar again and add those jars too, 
click OK. Next, in our top component, we'll add a scroll pane. Let's find the scroll pane to create some space for the panel that we're going to drag into the top component. So here we are. Uh, you go to the source here, this is a panel. Let's compile it. And now we drag it and drop it. Okay, there is the panel dragged into our top component. All the jars are available. So there they are. Demo CRUD app and Beans Binding and everything else that is used by the master detail form. We run the application. And what we see is a CRUD application on the NetBeans platform. Um, so we have a top component which we can undock. Um, so you can see we can float this potentially onto another screen. We can add more modules now. We have all the standard uh, NetBeans platform functionality, but we also have our little CRUD um, application. Also, nice example of a master detail form um, that is now embedded inside of our top component. It's not the most modular solution, of course. We have everything inside one single module. You might want to make it more modular following the NetBeans platform CRUD tutorial, but definitely it works, and um, why, not, why not try it? Thanks. Have fun with NetBeans.